the general and the president of Uganda, His Excellency Welcome Gutam Seven brags of how he is not going to go anywhere and he is not ready to leave power as long as he is having his army. And the only thing that is going to stop him from the power shall only be the gun. Hello, welcome, and thanks for taking your time joining us live on Projan Media TV. That brings the latest news and the latest updates in the country and across the world. If it's your first time to be on this platform, kindly do one thing. Subscribe, turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Uh, let's take more look into some of these details. Uh, Ugandan dictator General Yoweri well Museven, while addressing the nation during the independence celebrations at Kololo, said that those who think he is weak should dare try to touch or check his power and see what can happen to them. If they think he is weak, just they should try his power and see. He said he is the master of game and he's the master of his game and nobody can dare him. He promised to destroy the Chagulani group and it's now over, as he added. Museven said he is among the underpaid civil servants in Uganda getting a salary of 3.5 million shillings, but complains less because his aim is to serve the people of Uganda. Museven says that even when he gets little salary, no one can challenge his authority because everyone knows who is the president of this country and all know what is capable of. He adds that he is aware that there are many Ugandans who get salaries of over 50 million plus, but that doesn't make them more powerful than him. He is the president of Uganda even when he earns little money, as he stated. General Museven also used the opportunity to tell arts teachers that there is no salary increment for that for them just with the NRA general adding that a country rides on science with arts just being marginal. So therefore they shouldn't get excited of seeing fees increment, I mean salary increment because there are other things to fight before increasing their uh, salaries. But now the country is under lockdown, the country is facing pandemic problems so instead of fighting COVID-19 first, than to take and risk the life of students to die in the hands of COVID-19, it's better to solve the problem first and find a solution to others later. Well, that is it from His Excellency. Welcome to Time 7. I will keep on updating with more of this. Just kindly do one thing. Subscribe and turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching. Projan Media TV.